never negotiate out of fear, but we should never fear to negotiate. Strong countries and strong presidents talk to their adversaries, tell them where America stands, try to resolve differences without resort to war. And when we do that, we can go before the world community and say, America's back. I want to say America's back, we are ready to lead. We will lead against terrorists. We will lead on loose nuclear weapons. But we will also lead. We will also lead on climate change. We will also lead on helping poor countries deal with the devastation of HIV AIDS. We will also lead in bringing a, an end to the genocide in Darfur. That's leadership. by maintaining the highest standards of human rights and civil rights and rule of law, which is why we're going to close Guantanamo, we're going to restore habeas corpus, we're going to have a justice, a civil rights division that believes in civil rights, we'll have an environmental protection agency that believes in environmental protection, the Department of Labor that believes in labor, and you will have a president who has taught the Constitution, who believes in the Constitution, and will obey the Constitution.